Hello and welcome to the MCI tutorial. In this tutorial we will talk how to add an MCI drive to a Profinet network. As an example, for this tutorial the SMD23 stepper drive will be used, but the process is the same for all of our networked drives. These are the topics that will be covered in this tutorial. Setting up the AMCI drive for the Profinet protocol, downloading and installing the GSDML file, adding the drive to the Profinet network, configuring the drive and assigning drive's name, and finally compiling and downloading to APLC. All our networked drives with the E2 technology come with three major industrial network protocols available. Those are Ethernet IP, Modbus TCP IP and Profinet. As a factory default, the Ethernet IP protocol is active and that's the reason that we have to set up the drive for the Profinet protocol. This is one rather easy task that can be done two ways. The first one that we will use in this tutorial is to utilize drive's embedded web server. The other way is to use our net configurator utility that is available for free download from our website. So we're gonna use this uh, embedded web server to set up the Profinet protocol. So what you have to do, you have to attach your drive to the either PC or laptop and also be sure that uh, your laptop or PC is on the same subnet as the web server IP address. You can see over here it's in uh, 192.168.050. So when everything is ready, simply open your browser, enter this IP address and this is what you is going to be responding with this page. So, as you can see, the current protocol is Ethernet IP. To change it, simply go to the network setup and select. You see there are three protocols. We're going to select Profinet because we need a Profinet. Right configuration and we have to wait for the unit to respond. Here it is. So, we have to cycle power. So, I'm going to cycle power and wait for a second or two to unit to power up and then I'm gonna reload the page go to information and you can see now the current protocol is Profinet. The next step is to obtain the GSDML file that is available on our website as a zip archive file that you have to download, unzip and save in some known location in your PC. Also note that the GSDML file is common for all our networked drives. As you can see, there are two versions of the same file. The most current one is the version 2.33 and for the customers with platforms that do not support the latest one, there is a version 2.31. So after obtaining the GSDML file, open either new or existing project and install the file. I have a new project and uh, I already added my CPU unit and also established that uh, Profinet network. So the next thing is we have to install that GSD ML file. So to do that simply go to options, manage general station description files and select the one that you downloaded and stored. So this one that version 2.33 and simply click to install. It takes a couple, maybe one minute to a couple minutes. It goes relatively easy, so it's already installed. And then we, we close and it's going to update the hardware catalog. That, that takes a little bit more time than previous step. Okay, so this is installed. So we are all set with installation of that GSD ML file. After the GSD ML file is installed, the AMCI drives will appear in the hardware catalog. So we're going to open hardware catalog, find and select the AMCI drive, drag and drop it into the network, add input and output modules, open drive's properties and configure the drive, assign drive's name, and as a last step, we're going to compile and download the configuration to the PLC. So after the GSD ML file is installed, I'm going to reopen device it networks and now we have simply to find and select the 
device we want to add so go to the other field devices profinet io io advanced microcontrollers and you can see over here is amci drives all our drives are listed here so as i said before in this uh, tutorial we're going to use that smd23 as an example so i'm going to drag and drop it connect to the profit network so the next step is we have to add the input and output modules to do that go to the device view and open module folder you can see there is 20 bytes of input module and 20 bytes of output modules so all our drives works and communicates with uh, based on 20 bytes of input and 20 bytes of output to add you simply you can double click on each of them so you can see they're added also you can see over there that the system already dedicates that IO area for those two modules I'm gonna go back to the network view so the next thing I'm gonna open the properties so the first thing you have of course to give some name to the device to the unit this one is the uh, default one I'm gonna keep it and but you can change to anything that is more suitable for your project next thing let's say Ethernet IP address also you can dedicate any address that is more suitable for your case I'm gonna keep it and just change to the 50 media redundancy it's important to say that all our uh, drives can be part of the media redundancy ring so all of them they are based on E2 technology so if you can click down here on drop, uh, drop down menu you can see option to be a client so all our units can be client in the media redundancy ring and uh, I was also talk about uh, module parameters so you can see under the module parameters there are configuration parameters so what is important about this all our drives after cycling power they must be configured so to make it much easier we put these configuration parameters as a part of the properties so what you have to do simply select your suitable parameters and then save it in the PLC so basically every time when you power up your device PLC gonna uh, configure the device for example in this this is the SMD 23 so those are configuration parameters usually those are default values and you can see for example this unit has two inputs so you can select functionality so if from the drop down menu you can select that could be clockwise limit counter clockwise limit and so on and so forth also there are all other different uh, parameters that you can select also you can no, you can notify for example that's the you can go over the your cursor and then there is the some small help file that describes and say more about that particular parameter of course if you need more uh, information about certain parameter then you have to refer to our uh, user manual so I'm gonna close it next thing also I am gonna assign device name so as I said device must be as at this point already attached to the profinet and powered up so we have to go to the assigned device name and then we have to ask system to look up for it okay so it's it it is found so this is the the amci device so you can recognize device by its mac id the mac id address which is unique for any any device in this case of course i have only one so you can select it and assign the the name that the default that i kept from the previous step so i'm gonna click on assign name and it is assigned now so this is the name for the device you can close it okay so the last step is basically I I'm gonna compile the whole configuration and project which is at this point very simple because we don't have any logic mostly just configuration okay and then I gotta 
download to the PLC. Okay, so I'm gonna go quickly online just to verify that everything is fine. Okay, so we are now online and you can see the PLC is communicating to, to the unit. It recognizes it with the given name and everything looks fine. So basically this is the end of that first step of the process of adding our uh, drive to the Profinet network. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Should you have any question, please contact us and we will be more than happy to help you.